Hello and welcome to another edition of Rory on Air. More firsts this time as I fly a helicopter with more than two seats and a passenger on board. This is one of Helicenter Aviation's R44s. Today I'm repositioning G Nesh to Harden in North Wales so it can be used for another company job. To make maximum use of the flight, I'm going to be the pilot under the instruction of James, who you met in my London Heli Lanes video. I've never flown an R44 before, so there are several things for me to get my head around which we'll discuss during the video. One of the unfamiliar elements of this machine is the addition of hydraulic assistance with the collective and cyclic controls. And then, yeah, hydraulics, Jack. We're yep. just going to do a little cross with the cyclics. Yep. Yeah, now turn the hydraulics off. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, and now try that again. So it should be, left and right should be easy, but forwards and backwards will be horrible. Oh yeah, man, you can feel the yeah. the stiff, yeah. And then turn the hydraulics back on, nice and light, and so then just check they're restored. Once we've completed the checklist, we'll lift from the pad here at Leicester, depart the zone to the south, and then route direct towards Harden. Fellow student commercial pilot Sam will enjoy the view from the back seat, and as this is my first time in a 44, James will do the takeoff and departure before handing over the flight controls to me. Fuel check, we are full, and carb heat is not applicable. Cool. Checklist complete. That's the traffic, heli centre 29, lifting and taxiing to the age. Good stuff. So, I have control, following You've you got control, following you through. Yeah. So we're going to look ahead, coordinating left pedal this time, yeah. a little bit of left cyclic, getting it light on the skids. Sails clear on the left. Blowing them over. Got one aircraft in the circuit there. Yeah. If you aren't already a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting the button and please keep your comments coming as well as I read them all and I really appreciate your encouragement. A little bit windier than I uh, expected. Yep. Yeah. Hey, it's just fun, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so we just climb at sixty. Okay. You leave the power where it is. Yep. So just really set the horizon in this position and we'll carry on at 60 knots all day. And you have control. I've got control. I'm going to turn that squelcher because that's annoying. Oh, that's might be much better. Lovely. A little bit of lower level stuff around at the moment. Yeah. Didn't concern us too much. Wow, it's light. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. So think, think fingertips. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 1200 feet, you can just leave the power where it is, just gently ease the nose forwards. Horizon sort of, probably for you it'll be um, <laughs> up here somewhere for 100 knots. Okay. A little bit low and a little bit slow. So you can try a little more power, so 21 inches might work nicely. Look at a bit clearer here, I reckon you could get a decent climb on just above the, layer, the lower layer of sort of crud. Yeah. So just ease it back. Yeah, ease it back to 80 knots. So that it is a basic service. If you were really nice. Uh, uh, we're just about to commence our letdown to Churchport. Uh, we're on the ground for about five minutes before returning to factory at Roaster. JCB3, service wind east minus 180 degrees, 1 4 knots. Uh, JCB3, roger. East Midlands radar, good morning. Heli Centre 29, request basic service. Heli uh, Centre 29, East Midlands, Squawk is uh, 4571, pass details. Squawk 4571, Heli Centre 29 is a Robinson R44 from Leicester to Harden, currently two miles southwest of the Leicester zone, climbing to altitude 2,000 feet on uh, 
like you sort of think about going somewhere and it just does it. Yeah. The pedals feel slightly heavier. Well the pedals aren't hydraulically assisted. Right. It's just a collective and uh, cycling. Over the last year I've got used to flying the Cabri G2 which doesn't have hydraulics. Because that helicopter is small and light, even without assistance it's fairly easy to control. The hydraulics on the R44 make the cyclic and collective controls feather light, which is great, but between that and the different handling characteristics introduced by the pendulous teetering rotor head, it does all feel quite different as I settle into the flight. Happy in the back, Sam? Yeah, very happy. Very nice flying. Thank you. It does feel different. It feels. It does feel more pendulous than the... Wait, the Cabri. wait till you hover it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind refolding that for me? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> a few people have commented in a, a, enjoying the bit in our um, Heli Lanes video where you were holding the chart helpfully for me, but I couldn't see the altimeter <laughs> and I asked you to move it. <laughs> and then you some, want that on your lap or yeah, mine? I can have it on here, yeah. yeah. And someone said, um, good uh, CRM with your instructor there asking him to shift the chart. <laughs> Nice. Well, it was good CRM, wasn't it? Yeah. It's bad CRM, but we be going, oh god, I don't want to say anything to my instructor. <laughs> yeah, true. Right, I suppose we better get off East Midlands. Um, do we want to go to uh, Shawbury 133150? Yeah, okay, they're on there ready then, so uh, well, yeah. we can say bye bye to East Midlands when you're ready. Yeah, okay. This is our halfway point there, and we're still great for fuel, so. You'll find at the, uh, the R44 that the, uh, the tanks are always um, only right twice. Yeah, where they're empty or full. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> at least they don't do this when we're flying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a lot of aeroplanes. Shawbury Zone, good morning. Heli Centre 29, request basic service. Heli Centre 29, Shawbury Zone, good morning, passenger. Heli Centre 29 is an R44 helicopter from Leicester to Harden, currently Six miles west northwest of Tatenhill, Hill, altitude 1,300 feet on 1016, 3 POB, VFR, routing direct to Harden, request basic service. Hello, Centre Roger, Squawk 7426, Shawbury QNH 1015, basic service. Squawk 7426, basic service, QNH 1015, Hello, Centre 2-9. Not really improved as much as we hoped, is it? Yeah, uh, maybe it all. Maybe it will by the time we get there. I remember the time that uh, when me and Gilles went from uh, the 2K to, to Lid, and uh, Lid and the 2K were both cab OK. Yeah. Um, but the channel, on the other, on the other hand, oh. uh, was not so much of a cab OK. Uh, we got a cloud of about uh, 1,300 feet. And, uh, and, and uh, it was a danger zone at 1,000 feet, so we had to be really on it with the, uh, okay, with the yeah. alternator. Right. That was an interesting one. But it was. I bet that was a good trip, that as well. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, Marseille was a fantastic trip. Uh, we took off from the uh, Ikes en Provence over to the, someplace in the Rhone Valley, and then we went over to, he did to, the, to the Alps. Right. And uh, flew flew alongside uh, Mont Blanc, which was breathtaking. Yeah, I bet that was. And that wasn't just the 10,000 feet on the radio, uh, not on the, uh, on the altitude. Yeah. Amazing. 10,000 feet, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, at one point we went to uh, 11. Well, this is very cool. It's a shame about the weather, but it's, um, well, as long as you're enjoying it still. Fantastic to experience something different. Yes, after so long on the one, the one tide doing it so intense. Yeah. Yeah, Beeston Castle's on the top of that hillock 
oh, yeah, the one that's okay. off on its own at yeah. the end. It's a dis well, it's an old ruin basically, but then there's also a another sort of castle on the right hand end of the sort of main chunk, which is actually a wedding venue. Right. Quite nice, I've flown over that in the plane a few times. That's cool. The first time I've been up this neck of the woods. Wilco, Ellison to 29. 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 Wilco, Ellison Start your descent, that's sort of uh, get it slowing down about 60 odd. You don't really want to be coming screaming in at 100. No. That lovely blade slap noise. Yeah. Like a Huey. It's good, isn't it? Hey, Centre 2 left base, T2. Tele Centre 2 9 uh, runway 22, threshold only. Clear to land, wind 150 degrees, 1 2 knots, 2 vehicles on the south side of the runway. Special only clear to land, only sent to Yeah, slow it, slow it slow down, down get more, that yeah. collective down as well. So you're going to make your approach to, you see the taxiway on the right? Yeah. Immediately on the threshold, that's where we're going to be turning off. Oh, right, OK, so I really want to be right at this end then? Yeah. I've already overshot it catastrophically. Ah, that's all right. 300 feet a minute, 50 knots. Yeah, slow down a bit more. Maybe you come left a bit onto the runway now. Keep slowing it down. 200 feet a minute. Make it a little bit steep at the end if you need to. Be better than backtracking. Maybe the left pedal as you start to lose translational lift. Yep. Early centre 2 9 can backtrack, vacate November. It's actually 8 for November. Make 8 November, taxi 8 for November, early centre 29. That's the one immediately on your right. Yep. So you'll be having a bit of a tailwind to be ready with the left pedal. No, 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 Yeah, that tailwind on the, yeah, on the back not, caught me there, and it's not, caught it's, me by surprise. There's a lot of windage on the tail, and it's very long. Yeah. You make it look easy as usual. <laughs> Just wait until you see his handbrake turn. Yeah. <laughs> Due to the fact we'll be taking this corner into a headwind, James gets the chance to channel his inner Lewis Hamilton and demonstrate a nice dynamic right turn. <laughs> what type is that there? 429, I think. National grid. Our main man. Yes, indeed. Very nice. Welcome to Harden. Indeed. Welcome to Wales as well. Yeah, true. Welcome to Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> James and Sam will now take the aircraft for a short job in the local area, which gives me a chance to have a look round here at Harden. Fortunately, there's plenty to see, including this EC-145 from the Police Service of Northern Ireland, which landed to take on some fuel. Then the guys returned to Harden, and after settling the landing fee, we set off back to Leicester. Four, four, 
442. Traffic on the climb out this time following a similar departure profile to you is a Robinson R44 helicopter. Surface wind 180 degrees, 1-1 one, one knots, parallel to runway 22 from the H, clear for takeoff. Visual traffic, parallel to 2 clear takeoff, please, 442. Listen, do not contact Harden Radar 120 decimal 055, okay? Two hard radar, one two zero decimal zero seven five five. Many thanks. How do you do that? So frequency switch. Yeah, you have to press the button on that one. Because it's the bottom box. Yeah. Hard and radar, heli center two nine. Heli center two nine, hard and radar, good afternoon. Hard and QH one zero one one. What time of service? QH one zero one one, basic service, please. Heli center two nine. Heli center two nine, thank you, basic service. Basic service, heli center two nine. I've really enjoyed flying the 44 and intend to do a full type conversion course next year. Please consider subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching. Cheerio!